Capricorns, you are about to be tested. Tap in, family. Capricorns, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, share this video. Find, follow me on Instagram. All of my personal social media information is down below. And be sure to let me know where you're watching from. Drop that sun, moon, rising. Shout out to everybody in Michigan, especially Lansing and Detroit. Heavy earth and water energy. Pisces, Cancer, Taurus with this five of pentacles, Capricorn with the devil. The five of cups here. Interesting. Capricorn, two of swords. Knight of pentacles, little light Virgo action. What I'm, re <laughs> we're seeing a few things that are standing out here, right? The color red. Flames, fire. <laughs> and the number five, 15, five of earth, five of water, five, five being a number of change. Things happening. <clears throat> but it almost, it, gives, it is heavily giving the vibes all this earth. Taurus, Libra, ten of pentacles, spinning the block. Capricorns, y'all, or, and the cross watchers, tapping as well, have either had someone heavily on your mind, and when you're thinking of this person, that's because they're thinking of you too, speaking about you, or vice versa. This individual, a major falling out. We see high emotions. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> With the chariot and the high priestess, the five of pentacles, the rug being completely pulled out from underneath someone. And we see somebody getting the hell up out of Dodge. Running away, taking their most prized possessions or just the, the child, children. And leaving. We see this person leaving here. In the, this person leaving here in the five of pentacles. This person getting in their car with their two dogs, <laughs> stinking up the, the joint. Here in the reverse, spinning the block, coming back, old feelings creeping in. And it gives me the vibes of either you ghosting, somebody else ghosting, which has been common in your readings lately, Capricorn. And this and this regret, this regret around how a situation left, how and heavily how you left it or they left it, how a situation was left. This two of swords completely blindsiding somebody. It's as if somebody's emotions got the best of them. And with the three people here and the devil, <laughs> this empress here in the reverse, the ten of pentacles and this knight, excuse me, and this high priestess here, it's giving secret situation. Playing, if it's not a romantic third party, it's somebody playing both sides of the fence and wanting to come back. And for some of you, it's family with this Ten of Pentacles. Old co-worker, boss, company, a person you used to work for, work with, wanting to spin the block, see what's going on with you, work things out. Because we see all this potential here with this Knight of Pentacles. And I feel like long, long body black car. And this person dressed very well and smoking cigarettes. A message to, to some. The two dogs showing up. So not just in the chariot, this water, but in this earth here, in this ten of pentacles. Mm. <clears throat> it's giving secret commitment. Somebody involving third parties or somebody's ex, mother, Mother-in-law, mother-father of their child here. Being problematic. And with this empress here in the reverse, this lack of abundance is also lack of stability, emotional and otherwise. 
it gives the vibes of somebody coming back in so that you can give them stability. So they can get like back, so they can get back on their feet. We see when this five of pentacles, <laughs> somebody's feet are upside down. And then this judgment here. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Let me pull this right here first for a second. So we got the judgment, temperance, and the lovers. We're in Gemini season. Lots of mutable energy here, right? Gemini, Sagittarius, Pisces. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody's choices. <coughs> Excuse me. A decision that they made. Coming back to haunt them. And we see this half in, half out. Playing both sides. We see that even here in this devil in reverse. The two enslaved people. We see the man and the woman. Er, we see the man and the woman here and the lovers. And we see this person play the, the half in, half out. Somebody is running from the consequences of their actions. Something's finally caught up to them. That's what this is. Let me readjust this so we can make some other moves over here. Interesting. Capricorns, what this is really giving me is if you, if you lack boundaries with this person or this situation, you haven't closed the door. This person's going to try you. You're on their mind. They're on your mind. <clears throat> and this person is wanting to reach out. We have this Gemini energy here with the lovers. That judgment in the reverse. I mean, things coming out. Somebody reaching. It's, you, you see this? Shout out to the people that love horror movies. But we see this hand here reaching out. And didn't I say ghosting? From beyond the grave. Who ghosted Chariot in the reverse, <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, and is trying to cool, smooth, come back, re-enter your life. And we see this six energy twice, the devil, one, five, six, and the lovers. And doesn't it give the vibes of somebody hiding? Notice how these people are hiding. You know, you know that part of Genesis. And then you see that temperance angel right here. Cap <laughs> Sagittarius Capricorn Cuspers tap in. The lovers, those of you with air, Gemini in your chart. And this water here with this judgment. Pis Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody's emotions, again, that emotional instability and their lack of commitment coming back to bite, wanting you to help them out. This high priestess in this five of pentacles to bring in this person back. The reason that you, this person's on your mind and vice versa is that they've been caught off guard. Five, five, five. Please drop those angel and repeating numbers, Capricorn, that you have been seeing lately. Family. The number five has to be significant. Shout out to those of you born on what? January 5th. The 12, 25th babies. But with these fives in the reverse... It's giving somebody refusing to change. Things reappearing, coming back up. It speaks heavily to somebody running away. I, I, I feel like from their failures. Like heavy on running away from the consequences of their actions. And it gives... Somebody did not have, does not have anywhere else to go or to reach out to other than you. With this right here, 
somebody has exhausted all of their options. But it also gives me the vibes for some of you. This is also somebody who's very confident that you can be quiet or keep a secret about something. It's very hush-hush here with this high priestess and this lack of change. This lack of change, not wanting to take a loss. So while this person ghosted for a lot of you, disappeared, left without giving any closure or chose somebody else, let other people get involved in your situation here, lacking commitment, lacking <laughs> emotional stability. Basically, the fact that they wouldn't change their ways has somebody doubling back. Pisces again with the hangman in the reverse. <laughs> and this page of pentacles. This person is going to come in talking the same way, moving the same way. This hangman, not, they've been frozen in place. So not only is this a warning that somebody is coming in, if you're not careful, they will suck you back into old patterns and things that you don't no longer want to be involved with, associated with, all of that. But also this person coming in needing your stability, needing you, and coming in with something small to offer. And for some of you, even with this Page of Pentacles, a child, very little to offer. And we also see, even with this page, like we see in the Queen of um, Pentacles as well, if it comes out here, this keeping someone at arm's length, right? Looking at something from a distance. It's, al it's almost like somebody still has secrets or still has is, is asking for a lot, but offering the bare minimum. Just emo We see this emotional upside down, needing you to keep a secret, be quiet about something. Secrets also being the reason why they're having all these issues. It's those old patterns, old patterns, excuse me, and behaviors catching this person up. Let me see. This leaving abruptly, but not necessarily emotionally moving on, was due to something being discovered, found out, revealed. And somebody completely jumping out of the window, avoiding the situation at all costs. I don't know how I let this slide past me, but this hangman here, this five of swords and this five of pentacles. Who is this person that just up and left? <laughs> ran away Jordans were freaking smoking when this small other offer other offer new thing was revealed the judgment coming out in the tower what else about this tower moment And just that chariot in the reverse, the tower in this page of pentacles just, just looks shady. Like somebody doing something. It speaks heavily to doing something behind somebody's back, getting caught, and almost like red-handed with the chariot. Or somebody's only option was to leave and not say anything. And look at And due to the mess they made, look at this king of wands. Everything was crashing and burning. We see this fire. So not just with this 15 here, but with the tower and the king of wands. Flames. Yeah. Somebody was afraid to address the issue, but the, all this cowardly energy of this king of wands here in the reverse. It was easier for them to run away and think that they never had to, look, they would never have to look back, double back, than it was to deal, to, than to confront the issue or deal with the secret coming out. So we see somebody being afraid, not saying anything, leaving.
And we see this inconsistency here with this Knight of Wands and another five with the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. We see these people fighting, going back and forth. We see this fence to rattling and inconsistency with this Knight of Wands here in the reverse. Some of you dealing with this right now and, and getting all of the weird vibes from somebody. Lots of fighting, going back and forth, finding out about this lie, that lie, little things here and there. Maybe even something having to do with a new job, new um, work opportunity, new family situation, causing a lot of problems. It's almost as if somebody really doesn't do conflict. Like they cause a lot of problems, Capricorn. Now I want to know about this person's sign. Um... Dish it but can't take it, but also causing a lot of issues being cowardly with this wands energy seeking a lot of attention. Wands and all this water, right? The fives. And everything that they had going on in the background here. Coming out, being exposed. Maybe this was Mercury retrograde and we see heavy on the flames and the red. The page of swords. <laughs> The Ten of Wands, all this red. The star here, shout out to the Aquarius Capricorn Cuspers. Whose baggage was aired out on social media? Or will be? And it's, it, it, I mean, totally putting somebody in a bad light. We see the star here, that Aquarius energy. Mm -hmm. That ten of wands and the yes. Whatever this was is there's truth to whatever this person is saying. This article, this Facebook post, Instagram, subliminal story message. There was truth to this. So before some of you even had the opportunity to address it, <laughs> this individual smooth left town. Smooth blocked you on the internet or just stopped returning your calls. There's, tr there's truth to this. And it's the Ten of Wands here, the moving all around. Notice how these these sticks, she's it's on her shoulder and on her back, like trying to put it behind them and moving very quickly. And we see at night, the judgment at dark, five of cups, the five of pentacles, that tower, the five, all the darkness. What was going on in the dark being discovered and even how they're leaving. Sneaky, quiet. And it's like this, it also gives me this shadow energy, something just kind of quietly following somebody. Eventually it, 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 it catches up. Dang. Dang. So this need to come back and strongly getting the vibes of wanting to clear the air. Wanting to clear the air, tie up those loose ends. Before starting the next chapter, we see the 21 with the world. Consistently in your readings, Capricorn has been this energy for the last month or two. Tra this energy of traveling, going overseas, dealing with somebody from overseas or from a different culture, literally from another part of the world. But there's also this element here of, of with this world, like being at the right place at the right time. or what, what And what I really mean is like being back in town, back around you, in the vicinity of you or in a place where 
you remi you are reminded of them or they are reminded of you. But it also gives it is also giving the vibes of somebody feeling somebody pulling away after a situation and and wanting to reach out, not wanting something to end like that. Oof. Libra energy here with this justice card and the reverse. It's almost as if somebody is trying to come in and and right an old wrong. Who's the hypocrite? Is it you or this other person? Somebody's trying to make right, talk about, is in deep regret about a, a major, a majorly unfair situation. And some of you may be having to do with a legal situation. But we see, even with this justice card, the flames. This heavily speaks to somebody unknowing and fully understanding that they burned a major bridge with you. And for some of you, when it turned into a legal situation, or stopped your movement, whether that's traveling, um, moving in your career, purchasing a home, buying a car, whatever it is. Wanting to make it right, wanting to address that issue. That they, You may think that this affected them in no way, but it really did. And for some of them, financially, we see that four of pentacles, somebody being in too deep, that was in the last couple of readings. We see the Magician, this Ace of Swords, and this Eight of Pentacles. We see the manipulation, the lies, and the leaning on other people. But that Eight of Pentacles also, somebody doing all the work and then being exposed, put out there. Yeah. And we see the 11 with the justice card. And we see the 11, 11 here with the four of wands. Make a wish. It's giving Libra, Scorpio, Cusper vibes. Somebody is seeing you happy with this four of wands. Somebody is seeing you happy, Capricorns. <laughs> your new beginning, your happiness. And we saw that page of swords. Somebody must be watching you through social media, hearing about you through other people. And that's also bringing them back. So not just the situation for some of them, you know, what goes around comes around. But also, this new beginning that you have after them. Some of you are dealing with a jealous friend, business partner, co-worker here with this four of wands. And that's all this that was discovered, everything that they were doing in the background, this the silent competition. But the way that you dealt with the situation, how people are receiving you once you've moved on, the fact that you're happy and excited. And not, and part of it is that they're not a part of it for some others of them that they're they're just not in that that they can't be happy like that. It's also one of those situations where it's like, dang, I would have never been able to bounce back like that if that was me. And we see this. What happened to twenty twenty two? The two of cups and the two of swords.
And whatever this background relationship was, other friendship, mother-in-law, family members, friends, we see that that fizzled out, didn't work out. The unexpected happened. What else with this two of cups here? More the nonsense, the ten, ten of wands. That same old baggage, the running, avoiding certain things. That burnt, the consistent theme of burning bridges, Capricorn. With the, with the ten of wands, the world, the Running, 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 avoiding, avoiding, avoiding. And with the red, like somebody's, te I feel like it's temper. Somebody's temper getting the best of them or their vices. Maybe it's alcohol, maybe it's status, what other people think of them, overworking, needing to have nice physical things, homes, cars, all of that. Which is really bringing me to this Knight of Pentacles, this Ten and this Empress here that we started with in the beginning. We see something or someone being very attractive and having all of this potential here, but being committed to being upside down. It almost, it, it, it's very much the victim mentality. Like somebody's fully committed to being a victim. Even if they're the perpetrator of, of whatever it is that's going on. And it's the cowardly nature, the trying to avoid the mess, avoid the, you know, the flames and the, the conflict that, that they created. And there's a large, there's a big element of popularity with this. Again, how people receive you, how people receive them. And even with this Knight of Wands as well, this attention. We see the Charger here, the Flames, the Five of Wands, people fighting over them or fighting for them, sticking up for them. But also with the Five of Wands, the confusion, the chaos, the conflict, needing that to kind of feeding off of that. Needing other people around them or you. It could also be that somebody was trying to keep you away from certain people. Or keep you away from people so that you did not receive certain things. We see heavy on the distance here with the three of wands. The king of cups. This is somebody that through manipulation and deception, mind and emotional games, this is how they keep people all to themselves. It's giving the isolation vibes here with this King of Cups, somebody who likes relationships or all the benefits of a relationship, but doesn't necessarily speak on their feelings. Notice our man is dressed very, very well here. Okay. Looking like somebody has some status. Nice little job career here, but it's the floating around. Just like we see in that Empress in the reverse. The instability. The moving from place to place. This hangman here in the, the being bored. So maybe causing a little bit of drama to get some excitement going. What else with this King of Cups? And the Ten of Swords. They move because they've burned their bridges. And then they get stuck in the cycle of regret and wanting to look back and come back. So I would not be surprised for some of you, not all, if this is not someone 
who doubles back, who you've, you've already encountered before with this broken up and coming back. Falling out with them and coming back. Pages. So, it's the immature communications. Somebody being reckless with their words, not meaning what it is that they say, not standing by their word. And I, I strongly feel with this page of swords, this, this studying school nature. This is somebody you've known for a long time, for some of you. Since you've been friends since school, elementary, high school, college. Or maybe even your kids hang out, raise your kids together. But somebody's lack of commitment, instability, burning bridges, being in too deep and into their problems is wanting to come back and try and reconcile. <coughs> Excuse me, Queen of Wands. This person that puts you in a third party situation, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, and this Three of Cups. Heavy on the October vibes. Black cat, pumpkins here. Is wanting to see where you're at, what's going on with you. Wanting to speak, work it out. And re heavy on the reconnect. Get back on the right track with you. Why? And then we're going to close it out. I'm telling you because they're down on your luck. This star here. You are, you are their last and final hope. And whatever it is that they've gotten themselves into, where, and whatever it is that they've been doing while they've been gone, you are their last hope. You are their last hope lifeline here could be a virgo <laughs> the seven of, yeah and the, and the thing is there's still a lot of mystery surrounding this person so it's it's still this energy of not being very direct and straight up just needing just needing a landing pad somewhere to stay somewhere to go someone to lean on heavy and heavy on the leaning on our girl leaning on this lion Eight, eight, shout out to the Capricorns born in 88 in the night of soul. Cleaning up these lies and these games that they've been playing. Somebody smooth, smooth words of smooth run out. Capricorns, that is your reading for today. Please hit the like button, subscribe, share this video. Find, follow me on Instagram. Check out your other readings. Your sun, moon, rising link is in the comment section. Link to that in my second channel. And Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, drop your birthdays. Let me know where you're watching from. Always shout out to everybody in Lansing, Michigan, and Detroit. And family, I'll be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.